Good morning, you guys. Today we have the West Fargo Street Fair, and it's currently 6.40 in the morning. We gotta go pick up Cassie and bring the first load. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get my sunglasses. <laughs> okay. Don't know why she got me feeling this way She's got a way about her She's got a way about her I'm mesmerized like every night By every word she'll say She's got a way about her She's got a way about her Yeah, she doesn't know That she's got a hole We have our second loan and we got McDonald's. We're just waiting for our food right now because it's gonna take three minutes and 10 seconds for the hash browns. The lady said that, I didn't count that. But, you excited for today, Cass? Yeah. I mean, I'm just glad it's not super hot. Yeah, it's only supposed Hopefully to be it doesn't rain. 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't know what that is in Celsius. Sorry for everyone who does Celsius, but it rained a tiny bit, like it sprinkled when we were first starting to set up, but I don't know. I really hope it doesn't rain. Cause I didn't bring like the sheets for the sides. Cause we're not gonna have the sides up. We're just gonna leave it all open to hopefully minimize the wind coming in and bring my tents up, but. Also, 10 out of 10 recommend the Oreo frappe from McDonald's, <laughs> try it. But we're going to get our food, head on over there, unload everything else, set up everything else, and then I'll show you guys the new setup that I decided on for today's craft fair. All set up, and guess who I'm next to? Hi. It's Megan! We are next to. Sorry, we're next to. <laughs> if you guys don't remember Megan, Megan owns Megan's Pieces or Meg Pies, and she's one of my business besties for almost a year now. Oh, wow, she's counting, okay. <laughs> I started the counter that day. <laughs> <laughs> but I figured I would show you guys the booth because it's a new setup. And then Megan and I are gonna do our OOTDs. Okay, so I just have my booth fully open. And so I have my C racks on the outside like usual. But So I have this one here, but it's in like a Z layout. So I have a couple of those. I'm getting like mannequins to hang up. I just haven't gotten them yet. But this is called a Z layout. So everything's kind of like in a Z. But we have like my stickers, car air fresheners, zip ups, hello Cass. And then crew necks. These are the two new hoodies, the two new t-shirts. I also have another one hanging up there, as well as right there. Glassware tumblers, and then like this will be like the little checkout. I forgot something to put over that. It's okay, it will work for now, it's fine. But then Cassie and I are gonna be set up like right back there. And what's nice about like this Z layout is that we have so much room in the back. So far I like it, I mean, it's only been like 30 minutes and it hasn't even started yet, but so far, we chillin'. We chillin'. And I'm just letting you know that if you have a sign, bring zip ties. Zip ties fix everything and zip ties work for anything. That's how that signs up, and I think it looks great. Oh God, not my good angle. <laughs> Megan and I are gonna do our OOTDs in her booth because it's a little bit cuter than mine. No. I'm wearing American Eagle shorts, new t-shirt I just launched, Doc Martens. Air Forces, Lulus, <laughs> and then a shirt that I have in my shop. Yay! <laughs> uh, what time is it? Oh, 20 minutes. One minute. We have 20 minutes until it starts. There's already been some people walking around, which kind of irritates me because I'm setting up and I'm not ready. But you are so ready. You look so good. It really does. Thank you. Yeah. Is there so too? It's a little chaotic, but it's no, good. it looks good. Thank you. I kind of like it chaotic. I do too. I kind of hate how mine's like clean. 
I'm like, I was telling Cassie that yesterday, right, Cass? I was like, I kind of hate how mine's like clean now. Yeah. Yeah, it's bothering me. You can mess it up if you want. Just start taking all the clothes and putting them in different racks. <laughs> yeah, you should, honestly. <laughs> but I'll let you guys know when we start and how it goes. It's only been an hour and we made our money back plus a lot. We were so busy for that hour. It's crazy. Like, I'm not kidding. I feel like I'm running out of products. Like, steady, busy for... And honestly, it started early, like 9.45. Mm -hmm. So, an hour and 15 minutes, it was crazy. Yeah. But I'm going to show you, like, everyone who's here. Yeah. Food trucks. People walking. Okay, I swear it's busy. It doesn't really look like it, but it's busy. Like, it goes all the way down there. It's absolutely insane. I'm sweating. I'm hot. Yeah, it's just a day. How are you doing? Oh, good. Always doing good. <laughs> you're, you're doing really good. It's currently 1.30. It's been a bit slower than it was earlier, but we're still making good sales, and I'm not mad about it. It's really windy, so I hope you guys can hear me, and it's not too soundy. <laughs> still have like an hour and a half left to go, and then we're going to tear down. I'll keep you guys updated as much as I can if anything does happen or else I'll see you guys at home. And she doesn't know It took about 30 minutes to break down and come home and then putting away was about 40 ish minutes so not too bad and I'm just glad that I can finally like just sit down and chill because my legs are killing me now let's do a price breakdown the booth fee was $200 which is actually so stinking good that's why I couldn't pass up this craft fair in general I ended up having about 57 sales and we made about 10 times the amount of our booth fee that's just like insane to me for only five hours of real work besides getting up at six so I guess in reality about 11 10 and a half hours of work that's that's pretty good here are our top five selling products today the pretty girls poppy flower t-shirt the Seafoam Overthinker Crew Neck, which is now sold out. Coral Just a Little Anxious Crew Neck, sold out. Brown Just a Little Anxious Crew Neck, also sold out. And the Be Kind Floral T-shirt. This craft fair was a risk, if you guys didn't know. I've done this one in the past. It did well the first year. The second year was terrible, so then I did do it the third year, which was last year. And I went back and I was walking around as an actual buyer and they had no booths. Like there were so many people, but no booths. And so that's when I was like, okay, this year I'm doing it. The booth fee is only $200 for a double stall. So if you only had one stall, it was only $100. And the time was perfect. 10 to three is honestly just the most perfect time. I really just couldn't pass it up. I said, if I lose 200, I lose 200, but I might as well try it out. This is just a reminder to try out a market. Even if you don't know how well it's gonna go, you never know how well it's gonna go. I've done markets in the past where the year before it was so good and then the next year it was terrible or 
it was terrible and then it was good. You always just have to figure out. It also depends on the year that has been going on. Overall, I'm so happy and I'm so tired. I'm gonna go take a nap. But if you guys wanna see more craft videos, make sure you subscribe because I have a lot more coming this year, so many. I actually have one next week, which is kind of crazy. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.